What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bringing you guys a ranked regulation F team where we showcase Latios. Now Latios is returning to ranked battles for Scarlet and Violet with a little bit of a buff and now gains access to Luster Purge, which is a top tier special attacking psychic move, which is stab for him. So really, really cool. Hopefully his Pokemon rocks out and does some big time damage for us. Latios is rocking its lonesome ability with Levitate and then holding its signature item, the Soul Dew. Soul Dew is an item only to be held by Latios or Latias, giving them a damage boost in their Psychic and Dragon moves. They're really cool. Their stat moves gets a nice little boost. Such a solid item for Latios. Latios' other three moves besides Luster Purge is going to be Protect. We got Icy Wind for Speed Control. And then we also got a big stab damage move with Draco Meteor. Another Pokemon on the team that I'm actually super excited to be using is going to be Magmar over here. The pre-evolution of Magmortar, so we gave it the Evo Light so it could be a bit more bulkier. As Flame Body adds its ability, and it's rocking a nice little support move set with Protect, Helping Hand, Overheat, and Follow Me. So I really do like this set. You can follow me, make Pokemon attack Magmortar if they're physical attacking. They can get hit by the Flame Body ability and just burn themselves. So that's a big time support role for Magmar. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon. The team also features a bunch of other strong Pokemon such as Rillaboom. We have Primarina for a nice water and fairy type. And then we also have T-Tar for great weather control. Titar is going to be solid, changing the weather, just a solid Pokemon all around from there too. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Komo. -O. Komo -O can pair up with Titar, you can bring it into the weather, and it also can set up its defense boost with Iron Defense. It's got Body Press as well with Protect and Flash Cannon. Such a solid Pokemon, especially when you set it up. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. Bursting Co-Star Flamigo and Smeargle here in match number one, alongside with probably Minimize a little muck. So kind of an annoying team, very set up -y team. Should be a fun one. They got Latias as well, so we get a little bit of a brother-sister love here. Then they also have Fluttermane and Urshfu for their final two Pokemon. So they can go into multiple different leads. They can go into Latias, maybe setting up the Tailwind, kind of getting Speed Control to help out with Urshfu and Fluttermane, or they could just go into a Alolan Muck. Now, Alolan Muck, like I said, going to be annoying because it can just straight up set up that Minimize and just be a problem. So a Pokemon that I want to lead is going to be Latias, or not Latias, Latios. And lastly, probably Titar, right? Eh, maybe not Titar. We could go Primarina. We got the Rocky Helmet. We got Liquid Voice. We got all that good stuff. I could go into a Fake Out user potentially with Boom. That wouldn't be bad. But if they're setting up those Minimize boosts, I might as well set up a Defense boost, right? Might as well. Might as well. We're going to go Konomo'o. So Latios, Konomo'o, if they, ooh, if they do lead Fluttermane, that's a problem. Making me want to lead Rollaboom, right? <clears throat> Let's go in the roll boom. So I'm gonna go roll boom here in the back end. I'm gonna go pre marina and last but not least we are just going to bring Komo. -O. I'm cool with that. I like it a lot. That's gonna be the squad I really want to lead Komo -O with Latios because I do believe they're gonna lead like Smeargle and Lone Muck But if they do end up on the off chance leading Fluttermane, it's just gonna be a problem So I don't want to deal with the double dragon Pokemon out up against Fluttermane. It would just been a ten a just, just terrible situation and I should have led the combo. I, I knew it. Like, come on, man. I got to just start playing with my gut. So I ended up going Smeargle and Minimize Mucky Muck. Minimize Mucky Muck is here. So I can just Luster Purge if I want to drop this special defense. But I forgot this thing is actually a Dark type, right? Dark and Poison. So maybe I just start ripping Draco Meteors into this thing. Yeah. Draco Meteor coming at you alongside with a Fake Out. Fake Out into the... Into the Smeargle slot, because most of the time, it's Sash, it's going to fake me out. I might as well hit that thing hard. What did do? Why did my fake out do so much damage? Draco Meteor comes through, Muck is soaking. And we flinch the Smeargle. He goes for the Minimize. So this is where things get annoying, man. Like, we have to attack that Muck. Like, that Muck needs to die. But it won't because it's just going to be dodging attacks. So I want to swap my Latios for later. But who do I bring out? Komo? -O? That's who I should have led in the first place. I should have led him in the first place. So I'm going to swap into Komo -O here. I am just going to go for a... I'm just going to go for a Grass Guide. I'm just going to take out Smeargle. And... 
This is tough because he can't minimize again. I hate this team. I knew I should let Komo O. So Komo O now comes out here. And we gotta start landing body presses. And he just protects Muck, which is good. So he doesn't end up going for another minimize. We're gonna finish off the Smeargle here. Smeargle gets no value. But on top of this, we already know who they're bringing out. So it's gonna be a little tough for us. We already know that they're bringing out. We got Power of Alchemy too. So now you get Moody. Oh, Lord. This thing's just gonna start. Maybe hopefully it drops his defense or something. But the problem with this is they're now just gonna bring out Flamigo and co-star and take these stats here. They're just gonna co-star and take these stats. So now comes Flamigo with the minimized boost. It's gonna be very hard to hit these Pokemon. And we're gonna have to hope we just start landing shots. No, they just bring out Fluttermane instead. That actually works a little better for me. That actually works a little bit better for me. Because from here, I can now just Terrasalize you and straight steal. And do I just start trying to boost my defense or do I just start attacking these guys? I'm gonna start boosting my defense. And then just grassy glide this thing. Or I could wood hammer this turn. I could wood hammer this turn. Just for damage. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that boosting my defense on my Komo. -o. I'm gonna hope we get some nice RNG here. Did I not Terrasalize? Okay, good thing I didn't Terrasalize. Could have sworn I Terrasalize, but... Okay, guess not. We're gonna drop my speed. No big deal. Woodhammer is still outspeed the muck. We're gonna be able to just to KO the Fluttermane. And are you going for another Minimize? Is the real question. Are you going for another Minimize? That's the real question. You Minimizing again? I'm getting that defense boost. I got leftovers. I got grassy turning too, so I'll get back to some nice HP. My speed is down a little bit, and they are minimum. We're in for a rough ride here. We're in for a rough ride, especially if it is... Especially if it is Co-Star Flamigo in the back end. We're in for a rough ride. I mean, I did this to myself. I probably should have started attacking the muck earlier. But, I mean, we really couldn't do anything after we Draco metered it. Right? Because my special attack was dropped. Robin wasn't doing too much damage. And this thing is just moody and attack boost, special attack drop. And actually, this thing might be special attacking. He might be special attacking. I believe he is with like sludge bombs and stuff. That could be good. The close star Flamigo comes out here. Oh, he gets the attack boost. Oh, you're annoying. You gotta go. Do I terror type anything? I am part of fighting, aren't I? I am part of fighting. So my best bet would just be going to steal here. And maybe just rocking a flash cannon in this slot. Just trying to KO it. And probably just grassy glide on top of that. Yeah, I need to do as much damage as I can to Flamigo. He's gonna dodge moves too. This is so tough. This is so tough. They're gonna smoke me here. They're gonna smoke me here. I still have Latios in the back end. I still have um, Primarina in the back end, which is not bad. But still, we have no moves that... Can never miss, which would be lovely here. Grass Guide is missing. Flash Cannon, can you land? Brave Bird's coming after me. That's exactly why the Thrash slides. We're able to soak pretty well here. He's going to take some recoil. Can we land this Flash Cannon? We do land this Flash Cannon. That's a beautiful sight. Lovely sight. Flash Cannon coming across here. And some nice damage. Of course, you got the berry. Of course, you got the berry. And now we're going to have to get after this. Knockoff's gonna come across here. You're just gonna KO me with that. You got the attack boost. Wow, so Knockoff's doing big time damage. You are a problem. You are a problem, Mucky Muck. Mucky Muck's a problem. Mucky Muck is a problem. Who's got to go? Mucky Muck's got to go. But we gotta get rid of the fl uh, Flamingo first. The Flamingo just needs to die. But this thing's getting crazy attack boost. And he's just, oh my lord. And he's rocking knuckle. He's a problem. So I could go Primarina here. Primarina is not bad, especially up against the bird here. Now, what does the bird have? <clears throat> I feel like the bird has a steel terror type, right? Potentially, right? So I'm going to go into Primarina here. Nice, lovely Pokemon. Primarina. And I believe they haven't used terror, right? Yeah, they haven't. Now, a lot of the times, Flamigos do rock the what's it called typing, the steel terror type. And now, just in case, we're going to move blast into this thing. So, we're going into a fighting move. But 
just in case he wants to terrasize into steel. Could be a problem, but it's just close combat to me instead. And we survive. Can I land this moon blast onto him? If I land this moon blast, this fl flamingo's dead, which will be huge. Pretty Marina, you're better than that. You're so much better than that. You're so much better than that. Now I'm missing body presses too. Oh, what an ugly first match, man. You're gonna minimize again, you coward. You coward, that's what you are, a coward. Hate this little combo, man. I hate it. Now can I land this moon blast? This blastings of moons. That's all I need to do is land the moon blast. That's all I need to do. I wonder what this thing's terror. It could be flying. This thing could have a flying terror type. This thing's defense is dropped. Special defense is dropped. This thing's just moody, just oh my god. I wanna see this Pokemon stats. It's absurd. It's absurd, ain't it? You're abs that's absurd. That that's absurd. Plus two special defense, plus two special attack, plus two attack, minus one defense, minus one speed. Base in this plus six. Where did you get all these stat moves from? I thought you were dropping your special attack. Yeah, I'm confused how we got these stats. Now, what's your stats? Yeah, how is this thing's special attack going up? Ah, right, it's whatever. It's whatever. But from here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try this out again. Get after the birdie bird, and now they thrust less. Yeah. Are you steel birdie bird? You gotta be a steel flamingo. Could be flying. Oh no, you're gonna thrust the muck. So the muck goes straight water, which is not bad. I could hit it with luster purge now. But still, mucky muck. Chill on me, dude. Close combat flying through here. KO on me. Can I land the moon blast? Can I land the moon blast? That's all I asked for. Nice little moon blast land. Help me out a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes. Yes. So Prima Arena picks up the KO. Muck is looking like a problem because it can hit me hard. Might be able to KO me here. Let's see what Muck's doing. Toxic. Okay, so Muck's just going for a stall out game. He's going for the stall out game. He's going to put a Toxic on my Prima Arena. This is where things get real ugly. 2v1 Latios Prima Arena. Versus Mucky Muck and all of his stat moves. So Toxic's probably gonna take six turns to KO me if he doesn't touch me. But this thing's defense is just boosting, it's speed dropping. It was low on speed. I can now hit it with Luster Purge, which is a higher accuracy move. I really don't wanna go into Draco Meteor, because chances are we're gonna miss a bunch of Draco Meteors. But from here, these stats are absurd. Your special defense is through the roof. Oh my lord, plus two. So we're going to have to look to actually drop this stat. But first of all, we have to land our shots. I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to Moon Blast here. Let's try landing Moon Blast. Next turns, I'll start to life do, and I do land a Luster Purge, which is nice. Okay, damage. We need that drop. We don't get the drop. We don't get the drop, and they dodge an attack. He's going to go for a knockoff and just KO me. Yeah. GG's to our opponent. We're, we're not winning this way. Solid first match, very annoying though, but hey, we'll take that one on the chin. I thought we played a solid match. If they didn't get all these minimized boosts, we would have won no problem. And I should just went with my gut and led my, uh, led my Como O, right? So if I led my Como I could have started off getting some big time defense boosts early on in the match. Probably would have got up to plus four or plus six. Maybe been able to counter this, uh, muck here, but that's going to be a game. I'm just going to run it. GG's. Thank the Lord, we don't have to deal with a little muck here in match number two. But we're going up against a nice, solid rain team with Arch Ludon, Pelipper, Swift Swim, Basky Legion, uh, Mousehold, Fluttermane, and Lander. So Weather Control is going to be a friend of ours. We definitely want to bring in T-Tar somewhere in this matchup. Another Pokemon I like is going to be Rollaboom. And on top of that, I could go como -O because como -O can counter that lovely Stamina Boost Pokemon, right? Stamina Boost would be annoying. Stamina Boost, Arch Ludon. So, so I could go Latios here. Latios isn't a bad lead. I want to kind of go Latios and Como, but again, Fluttermain lead is a little bit of a problem. So I don't know if they go into Fluttermain. I don't think they do, but I think going into like T-Tar and Rillaboom is going to be good for late game. So we have three Pokemon that are weak to Fluttermain here, but have some solid Terra types, right? Your Terra types, Grass, you got Steel, and on top of that, you have Steel as well. So I really do like that. I really do like that. So I'm going to end up leading these Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Let's see. Who they're gonna lead here because this one really depends on their lead, right? 
I'm hoping they lead rain. If they do lead rain, I could just hard swap, take weather control, and start to get after it. But if they don't, then we'll see how this one plays out here. Because I think they're going to lead like Archaludon. If they lead a Pokemon like Archaludon, I think I'm just going to start setting up Iron Defenses. Stuff like that. So anybody but Fluttermane, right? Cool, Mousehold Lando. So Mousehold Lando comes out here. I have Levitate, which is gorgeous. Um, They do have Sledge Bomb. Sledge Bomb's looking a little scary, but I think I should just go into Icy Wind here. And maybe just set up this Iron Defense. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I could see a Follow Me come out here. I doubt it's a Pop Bomb Mousehold. I think it's just a Follow Me Mousehold. I wouldn't mind if Follow Me comes out here. Yeah. So Follow Me comes out here. We're still hitting with our Icy Wind. Four times super effective. We're still going to be able to set up our Iron Defense, which is huge. And who's dodging that? Who dodged that? Why, why is Lando dodging that? Did somebody tell me why. Somebody tell me why Lando's dodging that. Somebody tell me why Landorus is dodging that Icy Wind. It just makes zero sense. It really just makes zero sense. In all honesty, it just makes zero sense. It makes absolute zero sense. So I'm going to go for an Icy Wind again. I want to lower speed. I just want to protect. I just want to protect. It just makes zero sense. Why are you dodging it? I get I have 95 accuracy, but it's like, come on, man. Give, give me a little help here. Because that should have did at least half damage. Maybe more than half damage. Chunking up a four times super effective move. But did some big time damage. But they're probably just going to terrestrialize Landers now. Maybe even swap him. And no, they're probably going to just go into that lovely little poison type And go for a, yet another follow -up. So I still want the speed drop here. Speed drop is going to be lovely. And I can hit that thing with eventually with a Luster Purge. But if I get the speed drop on that, and I can make Komo out speed, then I can just body press the mouse hole, which is good. But they end up protecting. That's fine. They protect him. I protect Komo. -O. Just saw it. And can we land this icy wind onto it? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Thank you. So get off the Icy Wind here, doing about 6 damage, but more importantly, getting that speed drop, allowing Komo to outspeed. He ends up going for a Sludge Bomb here, into the Latios, and I'm surviving, which is good news. Great news, actually. Great news. So now this turn, I just want to protect you, just so I can Luster Purge that thing eventually, and I just want to go into Body Press to finish off this Mouse Hole. I'm going to end up protecting the Latios. And he's going to go for a pop bomb into that slot. You got pop bomb. That's scary. Body press should finish you off. And it does. So that's big time. So they're probably attacking Komo here since they pop bomb the Latios. And yeah, they're just going to take me out here. So that's not a big deal. I don't mind that. We'll KO for KO. I could still Luster Purge the Lando here. He could protect. Let's just see who he goes into. But from here, I'm just going to go in the roll boom. I'm just going to go into the roll boom. Because whoever they go into the right side, I can just fake out. Unless it's Fluttermane. And, or Basket Legion. That works. Um, they can't Terrasalize that, so I can just Grassy Glide that. That works fine. You could have Shadow Sneak. Ooh, Shadow Sneak's looking a little scary. Shadow Sneak is looking a little scary. So maybe I just try to double protect. Or I just go into, like, T-Tar here. That's tough. I think I got to go for double protect. Or I could just go Luster Purge and play this one simple. Yeah, we should play this one simple. Hopefully he's not going for Shadow Sneak here. No, he just protects. That's huge. That's huge. And the reason that is huge, unless Lando's protecting too. The reason that is huge because Luster Purge is going to be able to finish off Lando, which is massive. Which is real massive. So Luster Purge flying through here. Super effective stab with the Soul Dude. Get on out of here, Lando. That's a big time KO. So good thing I just stuck with my guns there because I really did think he was going to Shadow Sneak my Latios there and outspeed the Grassy God. So he still doesn't have any Terror. We have Roll Boom ready to go and I believe they bring out Pelipper for weather, right? Yes, and now at this point I can swap into T-Tar and I can get cooking. Something I really like. Okay. So from here, T-Tar swapping. We don't need none of this rain nonsense, right? We don't need none of this rain nonsense, and we're just going to go into a grassy guide into the Basque Legion slot, who cannot Terrasalize, so that's huge. 
That's huge. So Lesser Purge Latio is clutching up, especially with the speed drops, even though he missed an Icy Wind early on in the match. Still coming to clutch. So there's the Grass guy. Should KO, right? You sashed? I mean, you're going to take Buffet damage, so I like this turn all around. I definitely like to turn all around. Last respects comes through here. Goes after Rillaboom. Rillaboom soaks. And he goes for Hurricane, which lands into T-Tar slot. And I soak that all day. So Buffett's... Wait a minute. Why are you confusing me? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, that RNG. Buffett's do your job. Finish off the Basque. See you later, Basque Agent. And Pelper, if you are Sash. Actually, you were just Sash, Basque Agent. I was going to say, if you are Sash, we'll take that off. But uh, yeah, from here, it's pretty much game, right? It's pretty much game, because I'm just going to drop a rock side, I'll have a terror type, and on top of that, I probably should go for a wood hammer. Well, I probably should go for a grass guy, but I'm going to go for a wood hammer. I'm going to go for the hammers of the woods. Are they going to cancel the match? They do, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one, we get our first win. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Look for a 2-1 record. Final match coming at you guys. Let's go 2-1 for today's video. We had a rough first match. Actually, not a bad first match, right? They just set up the minimize there. We made it into a 2v1 situation, and then we just couldn't hit that that uh, muck being crazy stat boosted. But second match, we played really, really well. Got that Latios out there alongside with Como of doing work, and then eventually Rulebum came in the back and to clean up the mess. But uh, the final match here, Entei and Raging Bull, alongside with, oh, Dragonite and Chen Pao. So first turn priority, going crazy here. I do actually like Magmar. I like Magmar, and honestly, I like Komoa. I like the defense boost setup, so that's exactly how I'm going to go turn one. Magmar, Komoa, and then in the back end, we need some faster Pokemon. So, a Pokemon like Latios could be good. Right, you're fast. 178. I do like you, but you do die out to a few of these guys, except for if you're still Terror type. But I'm still going to go Latios here. And on top of that, I think Primarina or Wolverine is going to be nice. I'm kind of leaning towards Rollaboom, but at the same time, not. I'm going to go Primarina. I'm going to go Primarina. Because the only threat to Primarina is going to be Raging Bolt. But Rollaboom neutralizes Raging Bolt's moves, but it can't do any damage to it. So I'd rather go in the Primarina. Well, let's see who they end up leading. I'm kind of hoping it's like Dragonite Shen Pao, just so I can just follow me the shots and maybe Flame Body two burns here. That would be massive. That would be massive. And on top of that, I could potentially set up an Iron Fence would be great. We would love that. We would love a nice iron defense, but Magmar is here. I want to use it. This is a great chance to use it. And they end up going Dragonite Shen Pao. So I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You could have Stop and Catch him. That's a little bit of a threat. But I, I, I like the iron defense set up here, and I like to follow me. Something I really do like. Up against these physical attackers. Let's set this up. I do have a nice little Steel Terror type. Um, Steel Terror type could be tough. Due to Entei in the back end. That could be a little bit of a problem. But they're just going to end up Terrasalizing turn 1. Is this just going to be like a normal Terra type kind of thing? Normal Terra. Yeah, they're looking just to do some damage on it. So hopefully Magmar can actually eat up the, the shot here. Potentially put a burn on there and then uh, take a shot from Shen Pao. So actually E-Speed comes out before all this. And they're going after Magmar anyway, which is big. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. No flame body coming out there? Come on, Magmar. You're better than that. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. You're so much better than that. Any burns? There we go. Okay, there's one burn. I think it's chance-wise. I think it is chance-wise. But there's the iron defense, which is huge. And now we have a burn on the Shen Pao. Now we have a burn on the Shen Pao. Massive. Massive. So Ice Spinner's still going to hit me pretty hard. I don't know if I... Protect here. I don't know if I follow me. I mean, I can actually block your shot, Mag or Shen Pao. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna body press into this slot. I like this a lot. So E Speed's gonna fly out here. Are you going after Magmar again? No, you're going after Komo, which is fine because I get to follow me this next Shen Pao slot shot. So that's good. We already got burn off on him. Playing body working wonders. We should be able to take out potentially Dragon, here, right? So Ice Spinner's going to fly through. So that's just going to KO Magmar. I feel like Magmar did some good work. A double burn would have been awesome. But hey, I'll take one burn onto Shen Pao. Taking off Sash too. The body press coming in hot here. Just taking out the Dragonite. Get on out my face. So we get rid of Dragonite. We throw a big time burn across the field. We still have Terra. And from here, 
now's not a bad turn for us to bring out Primarina and just like protect and go after Shen Pao. Or depending on who they bring out here, right? Let's see who they bring out, because it could be Entei. It could be Entei. It could be Entei. But I'm gonna go Primarina and save my Latios here. The Primarina comes out here. They're gonna go into Flutter Main, and this is where we 1000% thrasilize our Komo on this deal. Nice little Steel Terra. So he's gonna boost our energy up. Is that speed? I'm hoping it's speed rather than special attack, right? And it is speed. Okay, you already outspeed me, so that doesn't matter. So from here, I'm just gonna go for a moon blast. I could go for a I could go for a what's it called if I want to a life dude, just give Koma OHP, but I feel like it's time to attack, right? It's definitely time to attack. So I'm gonna Terrasalize Steel here. He's gonna withdraw the Shen Pao. Probably go into more so Ente, right? No, Ogre Pond comes out here. So Ogre Pond comes out here. Good thing I'm not going for any water move. And if they were smart here, they should go for a protect and maybe follow on the next turn. They should just protect the Flutter Main. But I can't go for any Hyper Wizard. We know their final Pokemon. And Dazzling Gleam is still just going to fly here. Dazzling Gleam coming out here. Um, Life Dew would have been a solid turn for us here. Get a crit on my Como, which kind of annoying, but... Flash Cannon's gonna fire. Can this KO? I really hope it does. It doesn't even half. It doesn't even half. So Moonblast's gonna fly here. That halves, which is great. And we get a special attack drop over there. Okay, so... From here, we know another Moonblast KOs. Which is pretty big for us. So I think our best bet would just be to Moonblast this thing again and just protect Homo. Because I feel like they see that as a threat. They might even protect Fluttermane here. But I'm just going to protect my Komo, try to leave it alone for a little bit, and get rid of this Pokemon. Definitely our best bet. And we get back HP. So yeah, they're going after it. They're going for Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball all day. Shadow Ball attacks his slot, and they also Horn Leech Free Marina. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Rocky Helmet does damage, but that one hurts. That one definitely hurts. That one definitely hurts. So I get back some HP. Can we soak up a Shadow Ball? That's the real question. That's the real question. So we're down to this Pokemon. That's a Gleam probably just wipes him out. Um, I think we have to protect Latios and just attack this Water Main, right? And try to KO it. We have to try to KO it. Shen Pao's a little bit of a problem too, even though it's burned. Even though it's burn here. So I'm going to protect the Latios here. I don't know if they're going to go for Dazzle Gleam. I don't know if they're going to Shadow Ball. They're going to go for a Moon Blast in that slot. So that's not bad. Homo, can you outspeed? And just KO here? Don't you dare crit me. You better not crit me. Okay, cool. You don't crit me. That's big time. So Fluttermane gone here. Fluttermane is gone here. Which is huge. So Fluttermane dies out here. Uh... Shen Pao looking rather annoying. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it, right? I know it's burned, but it still has Sacred Sword that can do damage on the Komo. -O. Well, actually, not really unless you get a crit because I am plus two on defense. And it also has Ice Spinner, which can do some damage on the Latios. So right now, Ogre Pond's a bigger threat than anything. But I think I should just go Luster Purge here. And I could protect get some HP back, but I think maybe I should just start attacking. I could double down to Ogre Pond, but you could spike your shield here. That's something we don't really want. That's something we don't really want. So I'm actually just going to go Luster Purge, and I'm going to go into a Body Press here. There's a Sacred Sword. We eat that up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Luster Purge flying out here. And that's almost KOing. We do get a Special Defense drop. He's going for an Ivy Cudgel. Can you soak this one? No, you don't. Wow, that's a solid matchup. This is a solid matchup. All right. All right, what do I do here? What's the play? I think we just, we might just want to protect here. So I want to get rid of Ogre Pond, but you could spike your shield here. Do we think Icy Wind can KO? I think Icy Wind can KO. So I'd rather just go for an Icy Wind and start slowing them down too. If they want to spike your shield, they can spike your shield here. No, we just can go for an Ice Wind. So you should soak. Oh, that's some damage. That's some damage. Surprised you don't have Sucker Punch. 
if you don't have Sucker Punch, we potentially win this game, right? Because now I should outspeed the Shen Pao. And I should just be able to just Draco Meteor here. I think I'm going to protect this turn just to see if he has it, right? I'm going to protect this turn just to see if he has it or not. Because if not, I can just play like a protect game. Maybe get him thinking that we're just going to protect Spam out here. You do have Sucker Punch. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't go for that in the first place. That's kind of odd. So do we think there's a way I can just like protect a bunch of times and win this game? Just have burn drop out? Because watch, we're going to miss this protect. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to go for another sucker punch. And now we can land another protect, which is exactly what I'm going to do. All right, all right, all right. Hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. Now we're going to land another protect. Hold up, wait a minute. Actually, Ice Spinner would do more than Sucker Punch, but I protect now. Going for another Sucker Punch. Do we protect again? Now, here's the question. Do we go for another protect here? Or do we attack it with Draco Meteor? That's three protects in a row now. I could go. I, I think I might go for one more protect and see what he does here. Yeah, I'm going to protect. I don't land it. Let's see what he does. <laughs> now I'm going to definitely protect again. Because I'm going to land to protect. Playing mind games. And now I'm going to attack. Now I'm attacking. Actually, I might protect again. I might protect again. Oh my god, I'm playing mind games with myself. Do I protect again? Because now he's just Ice Spinner. He probably wants me to attack and he's gonna... I'm gonna protect again. I'm landing anyway. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge! And he's going for Sucker Punch. Now I attack. Now, now, now I attack. Now, right now I attack. Right now I attack. I'm the best player in the game. I am the best mind player in the game. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. That might have been one of my best plays I've ever made in Pokemon. No RNG needed, the protects were mainly there just to stop Sucker Punch and have Burn Chunk up damage. If I landed them, I land them, they did not matter, right? So the RNG for landing a double protect was obsolete. It, did, it didn't matter there, because the whole play was to protect so Sucker Punch can't hit me, so Burn can chunk up some damage. So eventually, after like five or six protects, reading this dude's mind, I was like, okay, now's the perfect time to attack. He's done going for Sucker Punches, and that worked perfect. It works so perfectly. I think it was five or six protects. Yeah, because I, I protected one. I went for double protect again. And then I was able to protect again because I missed my double protect. And then I think I went for another one. And then I went for another one, landed double protect. And then I think I attacked. It was just so perfect. It was just so perfect. So five or six protects into Draco Meteor to give us that 2-1 winning record. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.